he joined us in 2017 and that was july that was the summer when he was brought in and i think one who brought in goes by the name of asen venga in there welcome to the football news top 10 and left zone that goes by the names of lacazet in there and lacazet is being linked to a move away from manchester united to a team which goes by names of Atletico Madrid. These are the champions of the La Liga. Can you imagine? It has been long since they last won this trophy, but thank God they really came through and gave Barcelona, Real Madrid, a chase for their money, and they won a trophy in there. And it looks like it's no longer the same in, in Spain. Very. By the way, when you talk about teams that have been hit a lot by what we call the COVID-19, in terms of finances, Spanish teams have been hit a lot in there to an extent that you see Messi has not yet signed his new contract with Basel with Barcelona. Athletic Real Madrid losing the run and they want to put up Isco is being linked to a move to Arsenal. Even Odegaard is being linked to a move away from Real Madrid and very many other players in there. And I feel like this is an exodus that is going to happen load a load and load into the Spanish La Liga. Because if at all you can't really you, if at all your, your payments for the players aren't into line with the financial fair play there in Spain, forget it. It's done and dusted. Forget it. There is no way you are really going to come up through and do the needful and really get your players registered into the La Liga. So you have to find means of really getting these players into a better paying scheme in there. So that has really brought trouble in Spain and trouble it looks like it's extending its feet to Arsenal in there because I don't think that Arsenal have reached a level of letting Lacazette go, though his stats are really, 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 really way down in there compared to what he's supposed to be delivering. For four seasons, he has only scored 50 goals for a team, which goes by the names of Arsenal. That is something bad and worst record for center forward who has been playing game in, game out. Because looking at the statistics for Lacazette in here, he has played how many games for Arsenal? He has played 128 games for Arsenal in there. And he has made 50 goals in there. But to a level of a striker, that means when you divide by 5, when you divide 128 by 50, let's calculate and evaluate here. 128, 128, divided by 50, <laughs> each and every three games it was worth a goal for Arsenal but each and every three games look at people like people that he's competing with they've come in seasons in when you look at Marcus Rashford in there the past three seasons he has been great in there and um, very many other strikers in there the likes of Hurricane because we're not playing for Arsenal Arsenal is not a team that is is just there to pass time Arsenal is a team that competes does not participate those records are far much better for teams like Southampton Everton you see even a team which goes by the name of cannot entertain such a striker at their team so to me I think luck as it has not done what he was brought to do at Arsenal. That was not the reason because that was not the reason of bringing him at Arsenal. He's a very good striker, but trust me, his goal to match ratio is not all that the best, and he misses lots of chances. Remember, by the time, leave alone these times when there is Mikel Ateta, Unai Emery. Remember when Arsene Wenger brought him. Arsenal was one of the teams that used to create very many chances in there, but how many luck has it put at the back of the net? Because luck as it would have been in 70 goals or 80 goals because a team which goes by names of Arsenal creates very many chances. Arsenal creates very many chances, guys. If at all you've not yet known it and you're support of Arsenal, you know what it means when Arsenal is creating chances. You know what it means for Arsenal creating chances. Arsenal creates chances, guys. Arsenal creates chances game in, game out. And it's very hard to find Arsenal getting out of a game. Especially those days of of Unai Emery and Arsene Wenger without creating six chances and clear ones in there. But Lacazette couldn't really get in those goals because when you look at his season in the Premier League, you can tell me that he's really a very good striker. And I've seen Arsenal fans lamenting that they want him to stay. But guys, look. <laughs> look at his stats. They are really, they are really awful. <laughs> Very awful. This is the Premier League only. So if at all a player cannot even net 20, there is no season. <laughs> there is no season. Lacazette has netted 20 goals in the Premier League. He came in the season of 2017-2018. Remember, he's the leads man of Arsenal. And in 32 games, he scored 14. 
Ever since then, he has been on the decline. 2018, 2019, 35 games, he scored 13. 2019, 2020, 30 games, he scored 10. 2020, 2021, 31 games, he has scored 13 goals. Now, look, this is what Mason Greenwood is giving Manchester United. And Mason Greenwood is not a start at Manchester United. That means if I told Mason Greenwood was at Arsenal and was starting, he would have scored even 20 goals plus in the Premier League season. So I think Lacazette, this is a blessing this guy's for Arsenal. Let Lacazette go. Let Lacazette go. Because his numbers are very ashamed. His numbers are very ashamed. You know, there are strikers that give you 14 goals and they can get you like 10 assists or 12 in there. But look at him. 14 goals, 4 assists. 13 goals, 8 assists. 10 goals, 4 assists. 13 goals. So he's on the decline and guess what? He has clocked in the third floor. He's on the third floor in there. What do you expect from Lacazette? So to me, I think this is a blessing, this guy. It's like Arsenal let Lacazette go. And the reason as to why they should let Lacazette go, one, he's only left with 12 months on his contract. And in fact, I don't think that he's going to be given a big contract at Arsenal and he's not going to accept that contract to what we are really getting to know. So Arsenal should sell him off because however much they are rating him highly, they got him from from Lyon at 45 million pounds in there but accept by the time he came in here he was at 26 25 years old but now he's 30 and if at all he was 30 and he's at the level of Lewandowski all scoring 20 goals plus a season then Arsenal would have told that would have told Atletico Madrid that we don't want that at 13 million pounds because we value our player more, more better than than what you are giving us you get but that's not the case Arsenal has to accept the 13 million pounds for Lacazette because he's left with just one, one year on his contract. And if at all he plays until December, he will sign a pre-contract with a team that he feels like he wants to play for. So to me, I will feel like this is the right time for Arsenal to get the money they are getting out of a man who goes by names of Lacazette and they really feel okay. And they let him go because if at all they don't let him go, lots of things might happen to Arsenal that Arsenal won't like. Like things that have happened to a team which goes by names of Olympic Leo, where this lad came in from. A man who goes by the names of Memphis Depay was supposed to go to Barcelona last summer and they said, you are going nowhere, that we are not getting the £20 million. Yet he was left with just one year in there. And after... He told them, if at all don't release me, I'm not going to renew my contract. But they said they thought he was joking. What the lad did, he never signed his contract, he never renewed it. And this time around, he has joined Barcelona on a free transfer. You get? So, Arsenal should get this money, 13 million pounds, and really feel okay to get in and get in another forward in there. Because they're being linked to Tammy Abraham in there. He's a good one. They brought in, they brought in Mika Bireth, the 18-year-old, into the academy. Having scored 21 goals, 21 appearances, that's a very good additive to, to the Hull End Academy in there for Arsenal in there. To the Hell End Academy in there for Arsenal because it has produced the likes of the Bukayo Saka. Mm, who else? The other player goes by the names of Emil smith -Rowe in there. So Arsenal, why don't you get this money? Why do you keep saying that you really think Lacazette is really, is really at a level of being paid for that money? Yet even Danny Ings, who is scoring more than a man who goes by the names of Lacazette, the maximum you can get him for is at £20 million in there. So guys, I look at this and wonder, the only reason that is valid at Arsenal turning down a bid from OS Roma on a man who goes by the names of, of Granit Xhaka, He's 28 years old, he played very well in the Euros, so Arsenal have all the right to say that we can, you can get us 35 million pounds in there because he's 28, he played very well, very well in the Euros, teams will be ready to get him. So I think his services are, readily, are highly needed, but like I said, if at all he's going to a team which goes to Athletic Madrid, let him go. The good thing is that you need to have a very good working relationship with Atletico Madrid because you've just you've just gotten a player who goes by the name of, you've just gotten a player who goes by the names of Thomas Partey at 45 million pounds. You don't there Torreira though he's back. Now I think you Arsenal has a very good working relationship with Atletico Madrid. And for my case, I think this is the right time Arsenal should sit down and really let Lacazette go because there is nothing you're going to get from Lacazette. Looking at this record. Why don't you sell him off? He has never netted 20 goals in the Premier League, net 17 or 18. <laughs> you get so he has never netted even because when someone nets in goals to 17 goals, just not every every two Premier League games he's worth a goal. But this record is really bad, very bad, very, very, very bad in there. Something that I don't really know why Arsenal have really been keeping this this man at their team. This shows you that Arsenal, if at all Arsenal gives Lacazette a new contract, oh my god, 
Why would they give it to him? It will show that Arsenal are really not competitors. It's better you bring in a young Tammy Abraham who has registered very many goals. At least his debut season. His debut season. You look at Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham starts. Let's look at them and see how he really came up and really performed. Because at Chelsea, he has really performed very well. Tammy Abraham, when you look at his stats, his debut season, his debut season for, for Chelsea in the Premier League, he played 34 games, scored 15 goals in there. You see, his debut season, he was like 21, 22 years and scored those goals. Now, this other season of 2020, 2021, he has not been given lots of chances because the manager who brought him on the job, who goes by the names of Frank Lampard, was sacked. Now, if I told Tammy Abraham can score 15 goals in full season in the Premier League, that means get him at Arsenal because he's a direct player. I was talking to one of my friends called Kosi, Kosi Arsenal Podcast. I commented all him. For me, I think Tammy Abraham is better than Lacazette one. He's a direct striker and Arsenal needs such a striker because Abamian is being played off the left wing, yet he's one of the best forwards that Arsenal have. So that means Abomian can do what Lacazette has been doing, playing off that side. But you need someone who is not the same as Lacazette or Abomian because Abamian and Lacazette, they are the same. They are the same. So there is there is something that should spice into the Arsenal team, and that is bringing a direct striker, a direct number nine, who goes by the name of Tammy Abraham because he's direct, he's always in the box. It's very hard to see Tammy Abraham playing off the left wing, moving everywhere. He plays in the center of 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 the goal in there, in the mouth of the goal. That's where he is, and his runs are really good, and has a very good shot, and his positioning, and he's a lethal striker. He does not miss chances, guys. He does not miss such. So I think Arsenal should go, should let Lacazette go. I don't know what you guys think about this transfer, but to me, I think Arsenal should let Lacazette go and get in another player of a high profile in there, or else they get in, uh, they get in uh, Tammy Abraham. And I'm still dubious of Tammy Abraham being released by Chelsea because Chelsea have not signed in a forward who had that they want Lewandowski, they want Erin Haaland, so they want Harry Kane. So there are three targets, they are all targeting, but all the three, the cheapest one is Lewandowski. But we don't know whether Neglisman, the new coach of Bayern Munich, will really let him go because there is no way you let yourself, your new manager at the club, and you get off one of the best, he's the best forward in the world. You get just know he can score 40 goals a season. How can you let a person like Lewandowski with such a scoring rate, <laughs> with such a scoring rate, go out of your team, yet you are a new manager? And you are, because Bayern Munich, they don't, they don't evaluate you on winning the Bundesliga because they've won that for years and years and years. They evaluate their manager for winning the Champions League. Now, looking at the stature, the stature of, of a team which goes by the name of Bayern Munich, I don't expect a man who goes by the names of by the names of, uh, of Lewandowski to live for Chelsea and he's being valued at 32 million pounds in there and being at 32 years old in there. So Chelsea won't get Lewandowski. I've heard they're preparing a 130 million pound bid for Haaland, which is a lie because they first brought in a story and traded it in the news that the money, that the owner of Chelsea, who goes by the name of Roman Abramovich, came up and put up 150 million pounds for Haaland in there. If it was a true story, they would have already submitted that bid because that's the bid that Borussia Dortmund is waiting for to really let this, this player go in there because. Fabrizio Romano came out and said, without a crazy offer, they are not letting a man who goes by the names of Haaland leave a team which goes by the names of Borussia Dortmund. At £150 million, I think Borussia Dortmund will let that player go. So, Chelsea are also targeting Harry Kane. Harry Kane is more expensive than Haaland. That means, if Atoyo cannot make a bid for Haaland, that means you cannot get Harry Kane because Harry Kane is priced at £160 million in there. And the lead team is none other than Man City who want his services because they've lost Kun Aguero. I think he's their all-time striker and he is really great and he had left he has been left for Barcelona. So Pep really needs in a forward and he thinks that not having a forward and playing with a false nine in the Champions League final is the reason as to why Man City never won the Champions League in there. So you see what is happening in there. It's all about Man City and Hurricane. So I don't know which forward Chelsea are really going to get. That is doubtful. That keeps us in a doubt for whether. 
Chelsea can really sell off Tammy Abraham right now because it looks like he is the only forward they are having. Timo Vanna was playing there, but he never scored goals. And believe me not, if at all, Tim, if at all, Tammy Abraham was playing the lead role at Chelsea, would have just had more goals than Timo Vanna because Timo Vanna scored only eight. And then you look a season, and when you look at uh, a player who goes by the name Tammy Abraham. He scored six, but most of the games he came from the bench. So it shows you how this team really needs Tammy Abraham before they really jet off any other player in there. So it's all up to the eyes of Arsenal to really do its homework very well. But to me, I recommend that Lacazette should leave a team which goes by names of Arsenal. I don't know what you think about it. Your thoughts are welcome to the comment section below, guys. This is RRD onto this channel. Please subscribe to our channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I'm out for now. Five fingers salute all those watching it. I always salute you because it's mad love, mad love from you to me. I feel blessed and feel encouraged and energized. I'm out for now. See you later. But let me know in the comment section below what you think about Lacazette. Should Arsenal let Lacazette go or they should keep him?